Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will cover the diagrammatical representation of compositions in uh, the U in the UML diagram, as opposed to what we covered in the previous video uh, computationally. And before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. <coughs> والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد <تصفيق> We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. And we thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we <clears throat> we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him and his family. Amen. <clears throat> Now, just as a reminder, the compositional relationship is known as the has a, a relationship because uh, when we cover inheritance, we will see a different form of relationship known as is a. And if it is meant to be, we can cover aggregation and we can witness the part of relationship as well, inshallah, bi'idhnillah and God willing. So previously we covered the UML diagram for one class. Today we will show the relationship between two classes, uh, a simple class and a composed class. So let us create our uh, class diagram here. Normally I would use Lucid chart for this, but uh, for the for demonstrative purposes, I prefer to use paint. That way, I can uh, narrate the steps undertaken, in hopes that the uh, the lecture will clarify how to draw a compositional uh, relationship. And for the composed up, you know what? For this object, we will use the. I believe this is maroon, dark red. Okay. And for the co the composed object, we will use green simply to differentiate between the two. For the sake of convenience, I will not use private attributes or private instance variables. I will uh, use the public. That way we do not have to uh, provide setters and getters. And I will create a section for methods as well. So I may use one method, so I do not believe there is need for such space. <laughs> okay, so let us start with this class. We will call it university. And I need to reduce the font. There we go. So this will be university. Here, a university has a, a let us say, library for simplicity library there we go and center it perfect this is much easier than using CSS <laughs> to be quite honest okay now for university we will say uh, it has a library of course because remember uh, uh, the rule for composition is that the composed object is an instance variable of a uh, university and it is of data type library. And let us add a few other instance variables. Let us say students of data type student. And let us say number of buildings of data type int. And of course, this should be lowercase because these are name of objects or name of variables. I was uh, considering them classes. I apologize for that. And let us add 
the name of the university which is of string type remember a string is i believe we mentioned this in uh, i honestly do not recall which lecture it was but a string is alphanumeric so for example if i say muhammad123 that is considered a string it is not considered uh, 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 it, it does not have other data types that is a string as long as you enclose it within uh, double quotes so uh, if I use this this three is treated as a string it is not treated as an integer because it is surrounded by double quotes here this is an int and that will be it lastly we will have methods so let us say we have print um, print buildings if we wish to print uh, the, a list of buildings let us say building list like so and one more uh, what else can we have for university uh, print student list there we go just as an example Inshallah and God willing, I plan to have a small project at the end of this tut uh, tutorial uh, or the end of this playlist to try and include all of the aspects that we have covered throughout the tutorial, except, of course, uh, subjects related to the architecture of Java that will not be covered because you cannot represent that computationally. Now for the library let us constitute the instance variables we will say books uh, let us say data type int number of books name of library that will be a string uh, perhaps location of the library S uh, campuses are divided by blocks so a block f block or it could be named after the person who donated to the campus uh, i do not know if there are other categorizations there could be and we will simply use that as a string and here we will say print book list oh and i forgot to add the uh, return type which is void here i would like to add these uh, to add the return type here as well void try to align it like so and void there we go how would i represent the relationship between the university and the library we will connect them using a straight line so I will represent that with this color like so you will connect to these two classes so any person who observes this diagram will know that there is a relationship between this class and this class but we wish to represent composition diagrammatically without the need for any labels so there is a particular uh, symbol to represent composition and that is the diamond shape however if it is white from the inside that represents aggregation we can discuss that later on inshallah if it is fully colored like so this represents composition so since the composed uh, let me uh, activate transparent selection since the composed class is part of the main class so it the diamond shape will end like so this informs the the viewer that this class is a part of this class so this is a part and this is a whole this has a this or that so this symbol eliminates the need to write this on the relationship as such and that is it for uh, the compositional uml diagram i hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all enjoy the rest of your day
be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.